Yo, what's up everyone? Thank you all so much for coming back for another video. I really appreciate you taking the time to do so. This week, for this video, we're gonna do something a little bit different. This video is gonna be about what I carry daily as a graphic designer slash calligrapher and really just talk a bit about them and bring you into my world even more than you already are. And if you are new here, if you haven't subscribed yet, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button below. Also, leave a like on this video and let me know in the comments below what are some items that you carry on a daily basis. And with that said, let's go ahead and get All right, so now let's go ahead and get into the meat and potatoes of this video. I wanna show you all what I carry, as I mentioned at the start of the video. These are items that I actually carry on a daily basis and use often because it, to me, it just fits what I need. And with that said, let's go and get into it. So first off, I wanna talk about my pocket notebooks. As you see, these here are pretty beat up and they are filled up. The reason why I started carrying these pocket notebooks, for one, it's better than having to carry around a big sketchbook and less clutter, a lot more convenient, no matter where you go. You can either stick it in your back pocket, front pocket, whatever you are comfortable with. And I've been doing this for many, many years. These are two of my ones that I had previously and let me make sure that this is in frame. All right, it's in frame. Yeah, these are, pocket notebooks are something I've been doing for many, many years. And this is my current one. I bought the three pack from Target. It is the Levi's, one that they, like Levi's uh, collaboration that they had did like specifically made for Target. And the cool thing about these are the cover. It's like a, I don't even know. It's not like a card stock, but the quality is really good. And also these books are stitched with a thread compared to how these are. These are just like perfect bound. I believe that's what it's called. I could be wrong with just like the glue and the pages glued together with the black strip over it. And they're not saddle stitch books. These are really good. And I recommend if you don't do it yet, definitely have a pocket notebook. It's really, really convenient. And then we're gonna talk about my wallet. Obviously my ID would be here. And then I have the cards here and the card here, but I wanted tell you one thing that I recommend a hundred percent if you do not have one of these whether you're a man or a woman or yeah whatever I recommend getting a tile card because I, you wouldn't have known that I had this in there if I didn't pull it out it's very convenient you just press this button and it'll ring your phone. I can't press it because I'm recording this as we are speaking, or as you're watching this. You know, that's better to say. Well, what the hell, I do it anyway. And it'll start like that. Let me see if it's ringing. As you see there, what happens whenever you press the tile button? And the cool thing about it is you just slide it in like that. It's like a regular card. And I slammed it down my wallet to something this thin because before I had one of those billfold wallets, it was getting thick and full of receipts that I know that I was really never gonna go back to them and look at the receipts. So it was just stacking up, started to feel like I had a Costanza wallet, which 
I am not for. And of course, hand sanitizer, very important now. And depending if I am going out or not, if it's to work or, you know, just out running around, I have black face mask, the three layers. I like the black face mask a lot more than the blue ones, simply because the blue ones I just am not a fan of. And uh, let's continue on. And we're gonna show first the carabiner or whatever it's called. I've had this, let me make sure that, this, and this right here, this is my carabiner or whatever it's called. It has, let me stand up and get closer to the camera. It has here, like a wire stripper. Could also use this to open boxes. And it's not anything that's gonna cut you, but it will if you force it to. And you could pry stuff. And then here has the bottle opener. This thing, I have to say, I do get poked on it from time to time. I have a little screwdriver here and then in here. It's a little wrench, but I don't know. I haven't found anything that could fit on there and I'm not honestly looking for anything that could fit so I could tighten it up. And then here is a scraper. This scraper honestly is really, really good. It has really done its job and I really like, the reason why I haven't switched to like a clip Carabiner. I used to use those before, but I like how this one is made to where you just slip it on over your belt loop and it just hangs like that and it's easy to just put on and take off. You know, like one less thing to do. And the cool thing about this is that, see it's metal, I'm guessing high quality steel, the key ring also. It's not one of the cheap ones that if you bend it too much, I mean, for me, it hasn't bent. And then I have my two keys here. And then I have my mini flashlight. At first, I didn't understand what the value of having like a mini flashlight was for, but I have used this flashlight, I use it at least multiple times a week, maybe more. No matter if you are out walking or early in the morning, you drop something, your cell phone flashlight is obviously not going to be bright enough. And as you see, this is Olight and it is, it's not rechargeable. It has a AAA battery cool thing about it is that you just twist it and it lights up. The only thing I have to say with this, I had to, you know, twist it a little bit more so it doesn't come on automatically from, you know, like walking your keys, doing their little dance. And last but not least on my key ring, I have, this is the Tile Pro key fob that's even what you want to call it. I'll just say a tile. And this does the same thing as what I showed you in my wallet. But what I like about these is that these are like, they have metal around the edge. So that has a bit more durability to it and it's not something that is going to get broken right away. I'm not sure if they're water, I'm, they may or may not be waterproof. Don't quote me on that. And as you see also here, the battery is replaceable. But you see all the marks and everything on it. It has gotten its use. And let me show you the pen that I use. This is a, one of the mini pens that I've gotten from Jet Pens. I haven't bought any in a while. Well, what is that on my hand? I haven't bought any in a while. This pen is one of my favorites. The reason why I started using this pen, I have to say it's because I felt like I was neglect neglecting it. And 
I like how it has the clip on it. And then another thing, I like how it's brown. And let me show you the interior. Here's the ink. Still got quite a, quite a, quite a ways to go, but we are almost there. And of course this Japanese brand or Japanese uh, pen from Zebra. Yeah, I guess it's Sarahasha. I'm not even sure. As you see, it's rubbed away. It's a clip pen, the size 05. It's a click pen. I do have a, what's the other pen that I have? I have a Fisher Space Pen, one of the small ones. I do not carry that one simply because I've lost two of them and I am not going to risk spending that amount of money on a pen and I'm walking and it just falls out of my pocket and it's black. Once you drop something black like in grass or certain areas, you're not gonna be able to find it again. Luckily, the one that I have currently, I was able to find it with, with I feel like pure luck. Cause I, one of the other pen, uh, one of the other two that I lost, I found the one that I, the one that I had lost, and then I lost it again. So, chill out on the Fisher Space pens. But those pens are actually really, really good. And if you want a pen that you that you could have and last a very long time, go for it. And last but not least. Here are my Anchor Sound Core earpods. These earpods at first, I mean, yeah, earpods, earbuds. Let me take it out of the case really quick. It's fairly simple to do, as was just demonstrated. I use these AirPods on a daily basis, especially when I am going to and from work, when I'm not at work and I'm just at home doing whatever. Obviously, I'm not gonna be using AirPods, well, not AirPods, wireless earbuds as such. But anyways, back to these. I really enjoy these Soundcore earbuds. Reason why is they're just $100 and as you see here, they come in this nice case and these two LED light, well, these LED lights indicates how much the, this case is charged. And also you could wirelessly charge it as well. Let me see if my, if it'll reach. Come on, baby, we could do it. And as you see there, if you have wireless dock, I mean, what is the thing called? Like the wireless one that's like a circle you can just sit it on. They're wirelessly charged. Don't mind the feel there. It just comes with the natural use of the space. And you can reset them here. It's USB-C. And recently, not a couple weeks ago, I got this case to slide them in because I felt is it in all? Are we in all the way? But anyhow, I got this case because I feel that it was something better to have compared to just having the case naked without any kind of protection on it. And also another cool thing is how it has this little nice carabiner to clip it to. And that, is there anything else that I miss? Oh, yes. I have my Apple Watch that I wear on a daily basis and before my Apple Watch I would cycle through all my G-Shocks and I still didn't change the time on that one. I would cycle through on oh I didn't change the time on these either. Whoops. But I would cycle through all my G-Shocks and you know really rotate them. I gave one to my father. Cut that out about your father. I was hacking through my G-Shocks and before I got my Apple Watch, I was like, you know, I'm just gonna stick with G-Shocks because I don't want to risk 
breaking the screen or cracking it. Thankfully, that hasn't happened. And with my Apple Watch, I have the Spigen bumper case on it with the Archer band. I had, you know, just the standard sport bands that come, the standard sport band that comes with the i, well, the Apple Watch. And I wanted something a bit better. I just didn't like the band as much anymore. I like this band because it's made of the same materials as seat belts are. And it just fits a lot more snug. It's not rolling, not moving around in my wrist. And then here I have my two Hamsa or Hamasa bracelets, as well as my Jade Buddha, what Jade bracelet. I believe it's, I don't believe it's real Jade, but I like how it looks. I love the colors. And this wear these, I don't know, if it's okay to mix these two, but that's what I like to do. All right, thank you so much to those of you who made it through this video. I really appreciate it. Don't mind my uh, dusty desk. We is that dust or is that just me spitting and talking? Pedal, kin size. All right, thank you all so much for watching. I appreciate you taking the time to do so. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments below. And let's go ahead and flip this up and I will. All right, and once again, here is everything that I carry on a day-to-day -day basis, depending on if I'm leaving home or not and if I'm going to work or whatever. But I'll see you in the next video. Thank you all so much for watching. Let me know what is something that you carry on a day-to-day -day basis, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace and love. Thanks so much for watching. And also, don't forget to leave me a thumbs up, and feel free to subscribe.